I freaking love We're you, up dude. 60, thank you. I love you too, even though it's not generally my thing. It's not generally my thing when a guy screams out, I love you. But that's okay. We love you all. But uh, in the post- look at look at Joe Biden right here. He like looks at him in the eye and says, "I don't like who you are based on the color of your skin," and then <laughs> punches him in the chest. <laughs> I don't get it, people. Wake up! <laughs> I freaking love you, dude. I just want to state, for the record, I am not the penguin from the Batman movie. I'm sick of the emails. I'm sick of the phone calls, especially from those idiots from the Derek O'Shea show. <laughs> Nay. <sighs> Nay. I got it. So Hunter Biden is selling art to pay for his $15,000 a month rent in Malibu. How can you guarantee that the people buying that art aren't doing so to gain favor with the president. Well, let's play it simple, Matt. Uh, Hunter Biden is a damn good artist. Uh, he- Best mind. Thanks, Green. So, what do you call it here at the White House when 10,000 people illegally cross the border in a single day? So, what do you call it when I punch you right in the face? How about that, Peter? No, I'm serious. I will do it. I'll punch you right in the face. I'm sick of it. I Okay, no, you're done. Okay, you're done. Mike, next, you. You better not be about immigration. I swear to God, it better not be. I've had enough time with you. You, you're enough. Okay, you're next. Speaker McCarthy has formally launched an impeachment inquiry. Has said he's going to. Oh, my God, back. really? Oh, my gosh. You know, oh, it's devastating. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Look, it's only serious when it's Trump being impeached. But when Biden's being impeached, it's so silly and it's all for show. Remember that. Smoke and no fire. Look at my man's glasses right here. (laughs) What is is he trying to see? Do you believe that being woke is helping the military? No, not at all. Um, So, um, you know, I'm not even sure what that word truly means, but... um, how should people think about your commitment to equality and the politics of Texas, which would seem to be clashing with that? Well, we don't actually like Texans. And when we mean equality, we mean like equality, but conservative thoughts. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. My mom will give me my cell phone back. My mom will give my cell phone back. Mom took away my cell phone. Give me my cell phone back. Give me my cell phone back, Mom. I listen to the Derek O'Shea show like every single day, and it's like the best show on the internet. I'm not even kidding. This show sucks. I'm serious. Democrats off the air will say Joe Biden's too old. Why is he? What? You mean they lie to your face? No. <gasps> no. <laughs> Support President Biden. He has an incredible track record of success and accomplishments. On- <laughs> yes, he does. According to him, he does. <laughs> he's a truck driver. He He's a professor. He's born in a Puerto Rican family. He grew up in a black church. Uh, he helped... Uh, <laughs> Like how much how much time you got, buddy? Listen to this. We talked about we talked about at the conference overall. We talked about stability. We talked about making sure that the third world, the uh, excuse me, third world, the uh, the the, uh, the southern hemisphere had access to change. It had access. We, it wasn't confrontational at all. You came up with thank, thank you, everybody. This ends thank, the count press thank conference. You. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his room buffet. I've raised it with every person I've met with. Mr. Mr. President, are you worried about your son being indicted, Mr. President? <laughs> Biden rambles in Vietnam. They turn off his mic. See, that's a problem. We need to let him go. He was just cooking. <laughs> he was just coming up with some really good stuff. Exactly. He, he was finally going to lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. You all, as I said earlier, have coined the phrase climate anxiety to describe what is what is associated with that existential crisis. 
I just love I just love it. You guys clo- coined a phrase climate anxiety we're very excited about that at the the biden administration (laughs) we love when you guys take little snippets of stuff that we say over and over again in your ears nonstop to the point where you start saying this stuff like i mean if we're not calling in the national guard over this what are we doing are like are we taking this seriously enough right that's my biggest issue with this whole thing Mm -hmm. is that we don't take what happened in kevin mccarthy's office seriously enough because we like we need to talk about this every day. And if MSNBC isn't putting out a news story every single day or Fox News isn't doing a news story every five minutes, just to remind myself of how much of like an emotional burden this day has become on myself. It's not even the two towers. I don't even think about two towers anymore and all the people that died from that. I think about this. Absolutely. Am I agree. wrong in that? You're right. I'm right in this because politics is about acting. And if you're not over emotionally charged about these kind of things and losing your mind about every five seconds and saying that this is worse and that white supremacy is taking over the land, what are you actually doing? Mm. Not (sighs) enough. Get ready to thrive, excel, and conquer your financial goals like never before. Don't miss the economics revolution. It's time to make America's economy great again. New York City Council advances bid that could yank monuments honoring Washington, Jefferson, and Columbus. And I just started to think, what is it going to be like in 20 years? Are they going to be like, we're getting rid of statues from Obama because we dug up an old tweet or an old Reddit post oh that he posted this one time. It turned out Obama had a real handle called Big Mike is my wife and I don't care. <laughs> We will be encouraging, as I have said before, Americans to get their updated COVID-19 vaccine. We know, we know that these vaccines work. Right? We know when people stay up to date with their vaccine, that works. Uh, and so uh, that's where uh, I, I'll certainly uh, leave that. Uh, we will be encouraging, as I. It's wonderful to see that Obama is working his way down, not up. <laughs> Has the technology not gotten so good that you don't have to do this? Right. <laughs> the government is withholding that technology just so they can touch your <laughs> your private parts. I believe it. The TSA is like, we're still looking into this whole technology thing. We don't know if we trust it. <laughs> we want to make sure that you guys don't have anything. Oh, we'll use the back of our hand. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's connecting with the youth. He's having his Andrew Yang and his and uh whipped cream in the mouth moment he is one with the youth look at him go vivek is vivek is like how come more politicians don't connect to the younger generations with social media posts because it looks dumb it's a gen z dance it's like i don't care about life nothing matters uh we are always preparing a new military package for ukraine World's biggest lithium reservoir found in supervolcano McDermott, Caledonia, in Nevada with 1.5 trillion worth of precious metal that powers the world, that can power the world's technology. So the very exciting stuff, but my first question is, where are we going to get the kids to mine this? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Excuse me, the border's secure? What are you doing? Excuse me, the border's secure? (laughs) 